Grade 8 math number 13.1a, I'm going to talk about the volume of cylinders in this unit. And we're going to model the volume of a cylinder. We can find the volume of a cylinder by multiplying the area of the base by the cylinder's height. A cylinder is a three-dimensional figure that has two congruent circular bases, one on the top, one on the bottom. A can of corn is a cylinder. And the two bases lie in parallel planes, see? And then the cylinder would be in between there, and one would be on the top and one would be on the bottom. So imagine a piece of paper on the top and a piece of paper on the bottom. The volume of any three-dimensional figure is the amount of cubic units needed to fill the space inside. So if we had a can of corn, how many cubic units with length, width, and height could fit into that empty can, see? So I've got these little yellow one cubic centimeter squares. See these? It's a little cube. And it's one centimeter in length, width, and height. Okay? So let me show that to you. I filled a dish, this dish, and I got 43 little one cubic centimeter cubes to fit along the bottom here. I counted them. And there's 43 of them there. And I could stack four of them high along the side here. See? One, two, three, four. So to find the volume of this little white dish, I did 43, which was the base, times the height, which was four cubes, and I got 172. Now, this is approximate because can you see the empty spaces along here, like a triangle there and a triangle there? There's a little triangle open space here because this is a round dish and I couldn't fit another cube in there, even though it jiggles a little bit. So this is an approximate volume, okay? There's empty spaces around the cube, so it's approximate. So this dish has a volume of approximately 172 cubic centimeters, because each one of these is a cubic centimeter. So we, the volume formula is volume equals base times height, okay? V equals BH. Now, there's cylinders all around your house. There's food cans, jars, spray cans of hairspray, deodorant, shaving cream, shampoo bottles, postal mailing tubes, even disinfecting wipes, okay? Any tube shape with a top and a bottom. So here I have a postal mailing tube that I got a map inside of here. It's an old map. And here's a base on the top, see? And this comes off and you can put a poster or a map inside of this and then you can mail this, see? And it's got a base on the bottom and I actually figured out that the volume is 148.365 inches cubed. See that? With the little three there for cubic. So that's what this tube is, okay? Look at, I've got a container of disinfecting wipes. I've got a can of hairspray, a can of soup. I've got a jar that I could put jam in or something. That's a cylinder. Even my container of peanut butter. Those are all cylinders, and we can find the volume of those. They have a base on the top and a base on the bottom, and then they, it's like a tube going around, see? So that's how we can model the volume of a cylinder with how many little cubes we can put inside of it. Now what we're going to talk about in the next video is actually finding the volume of a cylinder using math, okay? I hope to see you there. That'll be 13.1b. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.